My name is Luke Jerram and I'm the artist behind In Memoriam. It is an installation of about 40 metres across. It consists of 120 flags, all made of NHS bedsheets, and they create this large array, an installation for people to explore and contemplate. During the pandemic, we've needed these horizons, especially during lockdown, these empty spaces. We feel safe, comforted. There's a sense of the future in front of us. I suppose this artwork provides that opportunity to contemplate. In Memoriam gives us an opportunity to come together in a really safe space, outdoors in the fresh air, and to think about our shared humanity. Many funerals have been limited, cathedrals and churches have been closed, and it just felt like we needed a space, a sort of temporary memorial artwork, a safe place for us to go to contemplate what's happened as a consequence of this pandemic. There's been you know, over 40,000 deaths so far, and a lot of people are grieving and trying to digest what's happened, and so that's the reason I made this artwork. We're in a time where we don't quite know what's going to happen and we look out at the sea. Behind the artwork, this great unknown that offers fear but also offers some level of comfort. It feels like really kind of like quiet, like not in that there's not many people down here because there is, but it feels it like, like everyone's having a think yeah. rather than just sort of wandering around aimlessly. I guess it makes you think about it when you understand what it's for. It makes you reflect, I think. It does, it does make you feel more emotional and, and ref, say, reflect on the not so good things about this year. I mean, it's quite nice to remember them and have something done. I think it's nice that people respect the other people that died with COVID. You can hear the wind flapping through the flags, very much sense the the power of nature, you very much sense a strength of emotion, quite meditative as well actually and quite comforting. It's like it's a real polarity between a kind of visceral fear and a, an a ability to stand with it. It is something that, you know, really, really does, you know, pull it together, the, what people have suffered over the last three or four months. I don't think we were prepared for what we experienced earlier in the year. So, on a personal level, it's, it's a lovely peace that's come over the area, which is definitely what we need. It's been really lovely watching children just running around between the flags, completely oblivious to its meaning. Whereas the artwork for some people who perhaps work for the NHS, who've lost colleagues, you know, this artwork is quite an emotional experience for them. It just acts as a safe space for people to think about what, what we've been through over the last six months. It reminded me when I was in Nepal, there were prayer flags and people would have the, the flags out with the idea the wind would take the prayers up. And um, I don't know, it, it felt like that to me that it was really kind of taking the, what the artist was trying to get across that feeling and it was blowing it out and making it, making it very real. I'm really proud that we've commissioned this artwork. In Memoriam can encapsulate and communicate some of the things that my NHS colleagues have been going through. Lives have been lost and moments of reflection have been few and far between. This artwork really will help people heal. Public artwork that's free for everyone to enjoy is, is vital at a time like this. Thank you.